Today I'm going to show you how you can take store-bought organic sweet potatoes and make sweet potato slips so that you can put them in the garden and get a ton of sweet potatoes in about four months. I'll show you the method that I use and how you can get slips in about two to four weeks that are ready to go in the garden. You can plant sweet potatoes pretty much any time as long as you have about four months before the first frost. You're in the garden with Patrick. Sweet potatoes are not grown from seeds like most vegetables. Sweet potatoes are related to the morning glory family. And unlike white potatoes, sweet potatoes are grown from small seedlings known as slips. So you can order sweet potato plant slips from your local garden store or get them organically online, but it's very simple and much less expensive to sprout your own. So the timing is important. So if you want to grow large and tasty sweet potatoes, this plant loves warm weather and you sh they should be planted when the soil reaches around 65 degrees or 18 degrees Celsius. The slips take about four to six weeks to mature. So when you start your sweet potato slips indoors about six weeks before your last frost date in the spring. You can figure that out real easy. I'll put a link below. So in Texas, where I'm from, in, it's usually around the beginning of February into March. But again, keep in mind that you have a long growing season. You can use the potato slips and put them in the ground really at any point in time. So as long as you have that four month time frame, you're in good shape. So right now we're going to be planting some. It's the beginning of May. And if we count forward June, July, August, September, and into October is when our last frost date or first frost date is. So that gives me about five months of growing season. So there's still plenty of time to plant these um, uh, potatoes. So all you're really going to need for planting sweet potato slips are some essential basic things. The first, of course, are some sweet potatoes. I would highly recommend that you buy organic. You can buy just the generic ones that are in the store. Uh, you don't necessarily have to know the names of them. If you like a certain variety, uh, you can certainly look for that in the store. Second thing that you're really going to need is some type of uh, growing medium. Uh, you can use uh, these foil containers. Uh, what I'll usually do on these foil containers is you can poke holes in the bottom and put another one underneath it so that helps with drainage. But a lot of the times you don't have to worry so much about the drainage with your sweet potatoes. Uh, but if you feel like you want to do that, you can certainly do that. Uh, I personally like to upcycle things and so I'm going to be using this um, old plastic container. We're going to take the um, label off of this and pretty much that's what I like to use is reuse things. We're also going to use this today uh, so that we could see a little bit better uh, what happens with the um, growth of the uh, root system too. So you'll be able to see that easy. Again, you don't have to see that, but just more for, for teaching purposes and learning purposes, we're going to use this and you'll be able to see the roots that are growing here and on the bottom versus something like this. You're not going to be able to see anything what's going on. So in about uh, two to four weeks, you'll start seeing the growth of the um, roots and you'll also see those slips starting to form. So we'll show you that here in just a second. And of course, the last thing that you'll need is some type of growing median, which is um, I, I like to use the um, seed starting mix. Uh, you want to make sure that your seed starting mix is um, is organic, of course, but you want to make sure that it's sterilized. So I'll usually do um, uh, hot water to sterilize that um, to make sure that there's no fungus gnats or anything that comes uh, along with uh, your, your soil. So uh, I, I'll put a link below on how I do seed starting and how I do that mix also. So um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, you'll get updates and also you'll uh, be able to view some of these videos that we're doing. So now that we've taken our seed starting mix, we're going to put, we put that in our container. I'm going to go ahead and place the uh, potato, the sweet potato, kind of put that in about halfway into the uh, container here. And that is pretty much all you're going to do. You're going to fill this up a little bit more with some uh, 
of your soil, but you want to have your sweet potato about half full with that um, seed starting mix. You're, I already have my seed starting mix sterilized, so we're just going to take that and you're just going to fill that in just up to that point there. Okay, so that's essentially what you're going to do. And then in about two to four weeks, you're going to get uh, these little slips that are going to start uh, developing. Then that's where we'll show you how you're going to take those and move those into some water. And then from there, you'll be able to plant those into the garden. So you're going to keep this moist and every couple of days you'll water uh, this just to make sure that uh, it's not too soggy and there's really no need for you to put any kind of fertilizer or anything in there especially right now um, because the sweet potato slips as they grow they will be feeding off of the uh, actual sweet potato themselves so you don't really have to worry about any kind of fertilizer that's why that um, um, sterilized uh, seed starting mix is perfect for this kind of uh, growth for your uh, sweet potato slips. So here is the key to the success for growing your slips quickly and put it on a heat mat. It uh, doesn't have to be anything major. This is a like a $20 uh, heat mat that I got at a uh, local uh, store or online. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your container and put that on your heating pad and that'll keep those warm and once you are able to start seeing some of these uh, slips that start forming the growth the green growth you can take it off the heat mat but I would keep this on the heat mat 24 7 uh, 24 hours a day until you start noticing that growth of those uh, sweet potato slips coming out and we'll show you those as soon as they come out and how we're gonna put those into the garden so growing sweet potatoes from slips is very easy and you can do this at any time as long as you have enough time during the growing season and we're looking at three to four months of growing for your sweet potatoes once you put your slips in the ground. So think about that. Um, if in your zone you, you have still some time to grow some of these slips and sweet potatoes, uh, I encourage you to do that. And, uh, if, if you're new to our channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that uh, notification bell and you'll get uh, more uh, notifications of uh, when, when I put out more videos like this. So thanks for watching and uh, let me know in the comments below if you are going to be doing sweet potato slips this year and how your method works out. It's a lot better method to do this in the dirt than it is uh, soaking it in water for sure. The time frame for that to happen is a lot sooner than if you put them in water. So try this method out and uh, let me know how it works out for you. Until next time, happy gardening.